So you're looking at my uh, 4 bit ALU implemented out of relays. Uh, but it's actually like running stuff now. Kind of. I'm sort of stuck on something. And uh, maybe one of you in the comments could help me. Who knows? Anyway, just to catch you all up to date, you've seen my previous videos where we explain, you know, how we built this. Um, but I decided to kind of plug it into some software, some code to like actually make it work. So what it's really doing is it's simulating a ALU, a four bit arithmetic logic unit. Um, this wire here connects it to this like array of transistors which is needed because I'm driving it through this Arduino and the output of this, you know, is not, doesn't have enough current really to drive this thing, which by the way, you can see uses like, you know, anywhere from zero to looks like around two and a half amps of power. Um, so the Arduino basically is just uh, converting a serial signal coming off of this USB cord connected to my computer. Uh, it's converting it into parallel, which is being sent to this guy. And then the result of the operation is being sent back to the Arduino, which is you know converting it back to serial to come back to this. Now this guy is running um, some code basically to generate different uh, mathematical functions. You can see over here, we're just running through all the possible additions. Um, and it's converting it into the USB. It's like a field, it's a two byte uh, packet that's being sent across the USB. Um, but as you can see, some of these operations are not working. Is it timing? I don't know. But let me just show you something. This is the really, this is the interesting part. So let me just uh, stop this guy. All right, so check it out. Um, here's a perfect test. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So in, in this case, um, all we're doing is we're going to be setting the ALU to have this number, which I guess is what, uh, I don't know, 12, uh, it's like 15, 14, 14, this is 14, <laughs> and this number is 1, so the answer should be uh, 15, okay? So uh, let me just run this one test and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let's uh, just run, I think if I just go like that, perfect. Oh, no, it's running all the tests. I think I have to right click on this guy. Yeah, just run this test. Perfect. So now you see this worked. So now let's take a look. So this is um, the A input, which we're setting to 1110. And um, here's your A input 1110. And then we're setting the B input to 0, 0, 0, 1. So the B uh, LED is this one. So it's 0, 0, 0, 1, right? So now you, you know as well as I do that if you add these two together, you should get, you know, 1, 1, 1, 1, which is what the output is indicating here. Okay, and then it gets sent back to uh, this guy in this form of this ALU result object, which I created. But basically it's saying, hey, it's testing, like, is that the right result? Yes, cool. All right, so things are working, right? Now, this is the interesting part. Here is the same operation, uh, except we're adding with the, the third uh, bit is inverted. So it was a one in the, in, the, uh, in the previous case and it's a zero in this case, uh, zero in this case. And in the previous case it was zero and now it's one. Okay, but this test does not work. Uh, hold on, it's hard to film and so this one fails. So you'll see here's your A input one zero one zero, 
here's your B input, 0, 1, 0, 1. But you'll notice that the output is correct everywhere but this third bit. So it seems like when I do an add uh, with just you know B equal to 1, that this is failing. But now if I were to actually, and I've done this multiple times, um, if I were to actually disconnect the Arduino and physically like put 5 volts into the B input, this output is correct. So it's something, I don't know, I think it has something to do with the timing of like when the operation is sent or how it's sent. I'm not really sure yet. So we're going to keep experimenting. Hopefully I will solve it. Maybe the, well, I... If I keep working on it, I will solve it, but I will probably get discouraged and quit. Um, so, stand by, look forward to another video, uh, and, uh, you know, that's it. <laughs> I kind of lost my train of thought there, sorry. Okay, bye.